Take a second and think about the thing that thinks, that thing being your brain. I find it pretty mind boggling that our own brain can think and process and be aware of our brain. Awareness actually brings me to the point of this video. This week is Brain Awareness Week, seven days devoted to sharing information about the brain to get people interested in the complex little squishy pink blob behind our eyeballs. I'd like to share a little bit about the brain with you, and I want to show you the brain, but since I don't have one with me, I have one inside my skull, but I can't show you, let's hop into a virtual environment. Do you guys like Minecraft? Boom, welcome to Minecraft. Chances are you've seen a brain, or at least pictures of a brain, but you haven't actually seen one in Minecraft. This is an actual brain scan that's been imported into Minecraft. So, as you can see, there's lots of little wrinkles and folds, and I have pictures over here that'll kind of give us some idea about what I'm talking about. So the brain's made up of different parts, and you can kind of see those parts here, but it's kind of hard to tell what parts do what. And so we divide the brain into different parts, and so we can understand them better. And so here we have different lobes, four of them, that represent different parts of the brain. Within those lobes, there's even more things that happen. And so here's the brain sliced one way, here's the brain sliced another way. You can see different parts inside of it that represent what's inside. Over here, we have a picture of the brain, and inside that we have this little blue dot. And that blue dot represents a part of the brain called the hypothalamus. And it's responsible for helping us do things like fight or flight or eating kind of the natural things. And inside that are little blobs, and one of those blobs is the SCN. The long name for it is the suprachiasmatic nucleus. Now what does that do? It's like a clock inside of our brain. You guys know what clocks do, they keep track of the time. This one keeps track of whether it's daytime or nighttime, and right now it's daytime. So just like a clock keeps track of what time of day it is, so does the SCN, right, which is right down there, in our brain. I think that's pretty cool. So let's fly over there. Now the SCN gets its information by a few ways, and one of the ways it gets information about what time of day it is, is through our eyeballs. So it keeps our brain on a cycle. As you can see here, we have darkness, nighttime being inputted into our eyeballs that goes across a track called the retinohypothalamic pathway. And so information about nighttime and daytime go through the eyeballs, go through the little cells in the eyeballs, and all the way to the hypothalamus, which is used inside our brain clock, the SCN. Did you guys know that our natural daytime sleeping waking cycle is actually 25 hours? That's kind of weird because the planet has a 24 hour day cycle. So how does that work? Well, our bodies can get used to a different day night cycle through information that comes to the eyeballs. So let's say our days were 26 hours, our eyeballs would collect that information, it would go through the retinohypothalamic pathway, and it would tell our SCN about what time it should we should be sleeping. We should go to bed and what time we should wake up so we can stay on track. I think that is pretty crazy. Hopefully you learned something today, hopefully it was about the brain, or at least about the SCN, the suprachiasmatic nucleus. Thanks for watching. Happy Brain Awareness Week, and I will see you all next time.